Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you may have seen, I recently got an electric scooter and was having a lot of fun with it. It's something new that I just started getting into and experimenting with and it's a blast. I love these things. And so when Lecky Smart reached out to me and asked me to review this new S11 scooter, I hands down said yes. So uh, they sent this out to me. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing, a little uh, initial review, a startup, kind of show you how to assemble everything. We're just gonna start, we're gonna open this thing up, get it out of the box, see what it, see what it does. And uh, the price range is great. Compared to all the other scooters I've been looking at, the price range on this is incredible. So if the scooter's good, this price range, it's a no brainer, um, but we'll find out here in a minute. The one thing I don't like right off the bat and it's not just Lecky Smart, it's all these companies seem to be doing it. They literally write directly on the box what's inside the box. And the fact that these things can go from say 300 to $3,000, some criminal that just doesn't care, it's a no brainer for them to pick it up because even if it's the cheapest scooter that's on the market, it's still gonna be profitable for them to steal it and that's scary. So if it didn't say what was on the box, it would be a lot better. So we're gonna get this thing out of the box, we're gonna assemble it. We'll talk a little bit about the specs, we'll get it charged up, and we will go out for a little ride. When you open this up, you're gonna get your handlebars in this separate compartment here. Your charger is in here. It looks like the rest is all already intact. So it actually looks very simple to put together. Wow, that's a solid latch. Comes with a little uh, pamphlet here. Wow, I really like the board on this. Um, that's real wood. I like that. I like that there's a wooden board. I think this might be the first electric scooter I've seen with exposed wood on the actual board of the scooter. And then all this grip tape goes the whole way in the front and the back. And it even comes the whole way back to the back fender, which is new for me. Yeah, this thing is pretty much already assembled. It looks like we're just gonna have to do some work up top here and I'll uh, zoom up on that when we get to that. So this thing's gonna come in the box like this. Once you get it, you can unfold it, put the handlebar up and just clip that in place. That's a very solid connection. Unlatch it, you'll pull this down and then you can actually push down on this back fender. It's spring loaded and you can clip that together and use that to pick it up and carry it. Okay, so here's our handlebar. Should be pretty simple. It looks like there's just some cellophane wrap on here. It does have a light on here and a little reflector and it, oh, that's really nice. So the light and the reflector, you're not able to see it just yet, but it is movable. That's really nice. Uh, a lot of other scooters have them solid and they just, you can't move them and then they could either be blinding people or maybe they're not pointed at the ground enough. So the fact that this is movable is really nice. So we will slide this brake onto the handlebar there and then we'll actually attach our handle itself. Okay, it is reverse threaded on this side. And then inside our pack here with our charger, it looks like we have our wrenches. So we have an Allen key wrench there. The bolt is already inside of the brake there, so we don't need to install a screw or anything. The set screw is already in there. This is nice because now we can really adjust where we want this handle to be. So just kind of get on this to about where you would want to ride it at and then you can adjust your handle to where you want it and then you can tighten it down. Okay, so this thing is fully charged up now and ready to go. Uh, just real quick, we'll go over the specs with you. So this thing has a 220 pound rating on it, which means if you're more than 220 pounds, you probably shouldn't be riding it. Um, but this thing does have three speed settings, so we'll go over that real quick. We'll press and hold this power button to turn it on. Peel this piece off of here. This LED display looks really nice. Uh, it is in kilometers, so I'll have to figure out a way to change that to miles per hour for my scenario. But uh, right now it is in the speed setting one. You can see that white S down there. That is a six mile an hour speed limit or a 10 kilometer an hour. Press that again, you'll get the orange S uh, for your second speed setting. That's gonna be 20 kilometers or 12 miles an hour. And then if you press it again, you'll get the red, which is the uh, highest speed setting, which is gonna be 25 kilometers or 15 miles an hour. So not the fastest scooter out there on the market, but uh, depending what you need it for at this price range, you can't beat it. This thing will climb about 20 degrees of a grade. So if you are going up a hill, it should power through pretty good. It has one single 350 watt motor down there in the front. And these are air tires on, on this thing. And one of the, my favorite things that I like right here is when I was riding my other scooter, if I would go to the gas station or something and want to go inside and get a drink, I literally just had to let the thing sit outside. I didn't have the option to 
uh, tie it up really because I didn't have anywhere to run a bike lock. This actually is two separate tubes here that you could run a bike lock through and makes it so that nobody can take your scooter, which is really great. So first things first, right out of the gate, I need to readjust my brake. I did put that up too high. I'm like really grabbing for it. So I'm gonna have to move that down a little bit lower. And I also did not change this over to miles per hour. I forgot to do that and I don't know how without the manual. Um, so we're just gonna send it anyway. We're gonna start in the lowest speed setting. Yeah. Feels pretty good. Again, this is about six miles an hour. It's nice that we can hold it here. Uh, you know, if you're just cruising around, you know, going through like a trail or something and you don't want to be like flying, this is probably a good way to do it. But we like speed. Let's go to speed number two, which is 20. Ah, that feels much better. This is actually a really nice speed. Not super fast, not real slow. Then press mode again and we're going to speed up just a little bit more. Wow, this thing is, this thing is really smooth. It's definitely really smooth over all these bumps having the air tires instead of solid. That's definitely a nice thing to have. The brake feels really strong. Uh, I barely pull on it and it stops, which is really nice. Let's go ahead and test the acceleration on this thing. Three hundred fifty watt motor, so not not nothing crazy, but you know that's not bad. Um, it could definitely be a little bit faster, but for the average person, this is pretty good. For an adrenaline junkie like me, it could always be faster, but. Uh, this this is pretty good. Let's check this thing's off-road ability here. Wow, that went pretty smooth through the grass. Didn't even, hey, there's a bunny. Didn't even hesitate. I just want to get out of that car's way. See if I can just hop right back through. Okay, that's good. That's really good through the off-road sections. Um, that's always a nice thing. Like if you just want to quickly hop over to the sidewalk, it does lose a little bit of speed. Whoa, hey buddy. It does just take a little bit longer to speed up compared to the other scooter that I had, um, but it's not slow by any means. It's just, it does take a little bit longer to accelerate. I will say again, for the price point and you know, all things aside, this is great. Oh, it's got good specs. But this thing handles really nicely, has similar specs. Oh, I gotta, for, uh, I gotta remember that there's no electric brake. I went for the electric brake and I didn't have it. Okay, let's check this out. Let's try this. Okay, it's struggling. It's struggling. It is only a single motor. It's, it's a single motor, it's not all wheel drive. So I wasn't expecting a whole lot there, but it tries, it tries really hard. Uh, if you have momentum, you can you can make it happen. But so far, this thing's been doing really good on the inclines. The the slight hills and such has been pretty good. The grip tape on the board is really really good. I mean, it's like the same grip tape you would have on a skateboard. It's it's really nice. It's really firm. My feet do not feel like they're slipping at all. Let's see how it goes over these railroad tracks. Ah, pretty smooth. Pretty smooth. It handles really, really well with those air tires. The solid tires feel a little sketchy sometimes when you when you kind of maneuver it like this, but these air tires just flex with the movements and you're good to go. <laughs> I lost traction there on the front wheel. I, I actually burned rubber a little bit. I definitely feel like I've gone at least two miles and my battery hasn't gone down at all. So that's a good thing as long as, um, okay. Okay, I spun, I spun the tire again there, but this thing feels good. It's a solid scooter. I would definitely recommend it, um, at least in the short term. We'll see how it holds up, but uh, it feels great. Well guys, I have to be completely honest with you. I have been riding the scooter now for a week 
it feels incredible. I love it. I've been having a lot of fun with it. I've been riding it every single day after work. I've been riding it pretty much anywhere down to the gas station, down to the store, just picking up a couple things here and there. And it's really fun. I find myself just going out, taking a quick ride just to go out for a ride. If I had to nitpick, there's a couple things I don't like. And number one would be the brakes. The brakes are a little bit touchy. I wish they had the electronic brake like some of the other scooters do. I think having just the cable brake, maybe, I don't know, it just comes on way too strong. As soon as you touch that cable brake, it almost feels like you're, you're applying an electric brake and a cable brake at the same time. It feels really strange. Um, but you do get used to it. And once you get used to it, it's fine. And the only other complaint that I have isn't even really a complaint, it's just a, a wish. I wish it was just a little bit quicker off the line and had a slightly higher top speed. But I have to say the adjustable headlight, the ride comfort, everything is there. The one hand drivability, I'm riding this around on one hand right now. I actually wanna show you guys something really quickly. I know this is not an off-road scooter, but you did see me ride it through the grass, so I wanna show you me riding it through some sand. So I do apologize, I'm filming this with the camera now instead of my GoPro, but you can see one-handed riding this thing through the sand and it's relatively smooth. It's not getting caught up at all. I'm, I'm not really applying much throttle. It's just kind of doing this on its own, just kind of holding a steady speed and it just drives right through this sand like it's nothing. So to be completely honest with you, you could use this thing as a beach cruiser as long as you don't get yourself into like really, really wet sand or anything. It does a good job at riding around in the sand and even if you step on it, even if you floor it, it'll dig into the sand just a little bit and now we are absolutely cruising. That's about it for today's video guys. I appreciate you checking it out. We'll get one last look at this scooter. It's a little dirty now from ripping it through the sand. You can see this thing, it just looks so good even while it's covered in sand. It's a really good looking scooter. It does everything it's supposed to do and it does it the right way. And I really don't have any complaints besides the touchy brakes and just slightly better acceleration would be great. But besides that, this thing's beautiful. It functions the way it should. Uh, the latch and everything works really nicely. It doesn't make any kind of noises when you're riding it. It doesn't do anything funny and it folds up nice and tight goes into the trunk of my car with no problem and i can haul it around you know just pull it right out of the trunk unfold it and go anywhere i want to and the fact that it does ride on sand and grass in an okay fashion i think it's a really really a plus having those standard air tires so well guys i appreciate you checking out the video let me know what you think in the comments if you want to see me review more of these scooters let me know I'm really enjoying doing it. These are a lot of fun. Um, but that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I'll, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next one.